Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new here. So today we're going to pick on dwarves. It's not going to be a fair fight. It might not even be fun to watch. It depends on your preference and these kind of things. This is a shooty army. There is no way in hell that I am just going to suicide my army for entertainment value. Unless you like donate $30. What can I say? It's happened in other campaigns. It happened in the Noxless campaign. And I still managed to win. You know what? I'm not even sure I have the achievement for finishing a campaign as Skaven since they added the new Legendary Lord achievement stacks. I need to really check that and decide if I'm bothered, I suppose. Okay, well, I guess we're going to take this a little bit more seriously. So we're going to, we're going to break the casters out from the other group. And we need to find a point of attack that's not going to be massively vulnerable. Like, I know they've made some tower changes so that towers are more flexible now, but invariably towers are, uh, I don't want to say uh, bad, but there's usually a, a point, you know, like this can only see to like here, usually. And that's why they've, they've given this this weird wall. It's either here. And it'll be the same here. That will that one will like weirdly be able to see you over here, but this will like flip a lot of its of its arc shots. But yeah, there, there's a lot of umiari where does things line up right now. Um so I'll probably deploy relatively far back on this one. Because we're gonna need to uh you need to figure out what's going to be the best angle for everyone. We're going to turn fire if we're off. Because every shot's maybe going to count, especially with unbreakable units. That's going to be kind of annoying. Like, it would be good if we could just deploy here and go over here. But I got a funny feeling that these towers will, uh, will not like them. Maybe we should just take out these two towers right here. Because you know the angle there is going to be pretty oblique through here so we're, we're probably probably got nothing to worry about everyone in this bunch pretty much has regeneration i'm gonna put you guys at the back to start with because you will probably not be targeted by anything back there but you guys you guys are two you guys are in range yes yes okay so yeah, we need to we need to look at lines of sight. It's like I said, this. Yeah, so that way that one. Yeah, that one's really like I said, it's through that. Not garrison that. He will garrison that as time goes on. Just you know, why wouldn't he? Okay, let's 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 speed this up a little bit while we. Uh, I'll be dancing around a little bit and let's uh let's shout so the boys are motivated. Like honestly, we don't want to take fire if we don't have to. Like I know it's kinda of, yeah, but Hey man, I didn't write the game code. We are getting a couple of free hits on what look like quarters. Yeah, there you go. You can target that now, and uh, excellent. Okay, so that's down now. So, like, are you gonna are you gonna occupy this tower now? Oh, Maybe we should just turn down this a bit more seriously. Okay, we've got his five summons. It's not occupied that tower, but I think it's this axe. It'd be like that, so we should be good. So, what are we up against? Quarrelers, quarrelers. Yeah, we probably want to put holes in walls. Really? Is that a holy wall bit? Can we actually destroy this the wall? I am not sure. No, 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 no. no. Just shooting the gate house. Okay, yeah. No, what I won't. 
Because we can we can easily break the gate itself. But I guess we can't break anything with that close. So let's go there. Ideally we're going to want more than one point to fire through if we end up bringing guns into this. And we don't really want to fight the Slayers. We don't have anything that's designed and tanky enough to endure Slayerage really. What fire is going to be his, uh, his best boon in this particular situation? If they all just clump up and we get them. Good of him to give us a couple of quarrelers. Let's just speed this up. The, the time limit, I'm always going to be about. Got some one hand. Yeah, it's fine. On the other hand, not so much. I, I don't like uh, the time running down. I don't like it being like, yeah, we actually lost. But hey, it is what it is. Let's get everyone to move up. Won't fire. I'm not going to put the front because if anything, in this particular situation, they are kind of our... Uh, we want these boys. Oh, where is his artillery? That's that's something to be mindful of. Because Goblin Hewers, while unbreakable, will still act a bit stupid if we do something like this and drop a summons on them. And we need to uh, basically get them to come off their artillery machines and just fight us. It doesn't matter if we win this fight. It just matters if they come off the artillery pieces to fight us. Not doing very well, but we actually didn't run away for quite a while. Oh, he just bombed his own man. Totally worth. Totally worth it now. Where'd you get to that guy doing? No, don't don't start attacking people. What are you doing? No, I want the gate destroyed. Like, I know you're very keen to do things. All right, but just just get this gate destroyed. One one thing at a time, boys. One thing at a time. Although, Walt Lightning on Huey Blobs is usually awesome, so let's get you into Walt Lightning range. You guys mean... Jeeps. Okay, how did that do it? 19 kills! Okay, that was great. Alright, everyone out here. Hell of our summer am I like, I would rather walk into the city and around, because I am a good citizen. Do all your BS, shall we? Alright, mortars. I need you to uh, fire the perfect shot over there. And let's get all you guys in and let's drop a heal. This is not exactly how I want it to stand out. Okay, but it's going alright so far. They are engaged. What's happening with you, buddy? Why, why aren't you firing? Now you don't, you don't want to fire. We gotta focus down the slayers teams. And this guy. Oh man, you, you just want angry, don't you? Let's drop another wall lightning. It's uh why you wouldn't. Warp lightning! No, oh, here come more slayers. Yeah, well, they, they were a little little uncertain about which way I wanted to go. This is uh 
Not going as well for them as I thought it would. I'm very preoccupied. He's shooting me though, that's not particularly. We don't want to do that. that. That's more of a let's get the heck out of here ability. Can we actually hit that guy? That'd be preferable to the units. A lot of them are breaking now. Wow, this uh, this is taking a turn. Can you shoot them? Like, can you shoot anyone? Like, it's your job to shoot them. Shoot. Why are you obscured now? They're literally over there. I like, shoot anyone. At this rate, I'm going to send you into Malik on that because you're annoying me that much. Oh, there's two k. Okay, let's hit the fifteen. Like either way, they need to die. But, yeah. All these slayers with no armor would take so much damage. Good, good. Alright, let's target him. Let's pop the debuff. And start getting his buffs going again. Myself. Try that. Alright, nice. This is... This is going pretty easy. Okay, well, we'll get all those buffs. We really want to kill our hero. Are you actually shooting anyone? Or are you just... you just mean... incompetent? I'm just going to move you forward and put you on fire at will. Honestly, like... You're not earning your value. He's trying to flee the field. Get him. Get him, Bob. Let him get away on his little mobility scooter. Come on. Like, we need you to like back up a bit to then charge him, do we? Because like, you guys are being really derpy about this. Okay, he's dead. Good. Excellent. Right, let's just plow back into his miners. You, on fire at will, do not want to shoot anyone. What the hell is going on here? I will literally run you into combat if you do nothing. Is he stuck in the wall? Have we... Have we flung him into the wall and he's just stuck there? I think we might have. Oh well, poor guy. Not really my fault. Well, it isn't my fault, but not my problem. We should really focus on slayers, I suppose. Those are the ones that are going to be the most benign. Okay, this is... Um, this is frustrating, right? The gates aren't closed. What the hell? How are the gates closed? Um. You know what? This is just totally bugged. Isn't it? I can't even target the gates anymore. How can the? Mm, never mind. Never mind. I just... Okay. Well, there's a hole in the wall, so uh, let's send the unit up here. I should stop them from bringing reinforcements from this angle, and let's bring you right up. At this point, you're going to charge into combat, buddy, because I'm, I'm not particularly happy with your performance. Right, let's let's focus the non-unbreakable units, so we can try and get rid of them, and then we can focus on the unbreakable. It's like slayers, yeah, sure, but. They're not really the scariest unit right now. Where are you going? Oh, now you're gonna do something. Um, he's 
both over there and in the wall. That is very interesting. I oh, know, is that a different hero? Morak. Oh, it's a different hero, okay. So we bugged one out in the wall. And the other one's just, uh, yeah. Started it running away. It's all good for us. What is that? Not poisoned by his own unit. Yeah, that's to be expected, I suppose. Um. Alright, well, we kind of want you to come forward, so I guess we're going to have to push a little bit. Or we're going to have to take a chunk of the map so that you actually come at me, bruh. It's fine if we lose some units, it really is. And honestly, with those flyers, I expected to take some casualties. Oh, the way blowing up there, I wish I had like an artillery bombardment. It actually wasn't being stupid. Yeah, I like this one here. These guys are gonna, uh, find shooters. Alright, this is all good bits up. You're not even really attacking that, are you? Maybe we should just come off over here. Like, there seems to be some unit here, because they're attacking someone rather than hitting the gate. Oh, let's get some speed going. Oh, coming off the wall. We definitely want these guys dead. I mean, that was a bit of a silly move. All right, let's speed this up. Very, very runny. Bit like these quarrelers are going to be in the second here. Just give him a minute to rally. Oh yeah, maybe if we claim this, they'll come forward because this is a gate. They'll be like, we must retake the gate. The silly hex defense, which you can't destroy, but you can walk straight over. They are unbreakable. Well, that's slightly problematic. And they might have ammo, but it's not ammo they can use. Oh, that's a bit painful. Yeah, let's bog these guys down a little bit. of strength to destroy that. Good, good. Uh, let's pop this. You're taking a bit of a beating, aren't you? It's not particularly great. Okay, well, let's get these before they crumble. Yeah, because they'll just start shooting at us again. We can start dropping some summons. Are those slayers? I don't think they are. I mean, they're breaking, but we don't really want them to break. We die, die. But if he's gonna faff around up here, we can head. Over and around, which brings us closer to the victory objective. Uh, if we go this way, look, this is, this is going to try and shoot us there with a thought, which is cool, but now you can't left yourself open. Smash this gate, we can get straight on to that capture point and then around and 
on the actual victory point. Yeah, he's put quite a bit of effort into recapping stuff. Which is, is very foolish, really. You want to push this way and into that cavalry point, so let's run straight into the quarrelers. Um, are there any more slayers? Goblin queues. I mean, they're alright, but they're not the best troops. The flyers are annoying, but there's not really anything I can do about that at all. Flyers are flyers. It will be like that. Come on, buddy. You're you're taking your views out, you know, A whole bunch of dogs. Cycle charging. Those can be distraction fodder. Yeah, the dogs actually do pretty good. In all honesty, for something completely free, we're marching towards the victory objective and we're still stonewalling him with summons. We've got some Rad Ogre summons that we just haven't even bothered with yet. I think we have smashed the bulk of his arm. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot left. In fact, it looks like armor losses is going to happen. In fact, it's probably just the slayers that are left at this point, right? Yeah. If you look, everything's kind of run away. That from 12 dudes over here, as far as I can tell. 12 men, alone. Let, let's just go full tilt. Go summons with regeneration. Can you kill 12 slayers? Oh, you got him down to four. And we smashed the gate. Is there another gate? Oof. What a... What a use for artillery shots. Still want to cap it, just because. And I can say we took it. And we destroyed his troops. He's got two men trying to stop me right now. Bring it down, bring it down. For a second I thought I was like, your lord is dead. And let's speed it up. Oh no, I can't cap it until I've capped the other bit. Ah oh, no. I am being a massive dingbat. I have to capture the key area to capture that area. Oh well, I guess we are just going to run straight through these slayers and then it'll be GG. Yep. GG! Hmm, you took a micro damage. And it's over. Nice! Alrighty, so nice fat reward, 6k experience, a not so good piece of armor, 7k though, and 20 food, and uh, 96 growth fat is pretty goddamn good. We are, of course, going to sack it. Is the Skaven way? That is another one of his armies dispatched. Some more shiny shinies unlocked. And then if we take this at tier 2. Right, it's literally, literally really nothing for us. And, uh, right, okay, so strategically. We could just cut down this triangle, we could just keep going like this. And then swing around. We want to take care of her. We've already got a bit of a, a bit of a safeguard going on back here. Oh, we said we'd build a uh, a ting ting. There we go. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. 
deep tunnels. I don't want it to be found. I do want it to expand. And mm, I mean, we we'll get the money afterwards. Like it's a. We've taken it here because it's like, look at the money. Like it's going to be great when once we actually get to the point where we can actually move it. Quote unquote. It'll be good. Hmm, are we struggling against the Chaos Corruption? We are. We are. But you know what? While there's no scare and corruption, it's usually a plus. Yeah. See, this value changes, that'll change from that, so we're getting 5 control from that alone. So I am a little apprehensive about the Chaos Dwarfs massing on the border, although he is mostly resorted to building... Well, I wouldn't say building, but having a uh, back of incredibly weird. Incredibly weird. Okay, we should probably at this point level 31 decide what we're actually doing. Like we've, we've invested in monsters, so we, we probably should start looking at swapping into a monster deck. Which means we're going to need the monster upgrades. Wherever the heck they are. But let's, let's get these up to date. At the very least, because we do have, um, oh, well, I would say some, but we don't, do we? We just have heroes Starving. at the moment, but the heroes could be quite easily supported by a bunch of monsters very soon. Monster Mash. Ah, feed throat. Ravenous must feed. It does make some characters feel a little redundant, like these guys. Um, but I guess their magic is pretty good. Like Crack's call is pretty good, and Rending is pretty great, to be honest with you. I don't particularly like howling death frenzy. Is actually going to be good on a monster stack. It's just a shame you can't get him any kind of mount. You know. And like I know he's an engineer, but even the plague priest can get a mount. What do you want? Yeah, more magic items, more summons. Yes, yeah. Okay, so uh, Belfast, as I'm going to call it. I know that's not its real name, but hey, here's what it is. Well, if you, if you liked having that territory that much, wait till you get this one, buddy. Okay, so that's two turns away. Oh, that's eight turns away. She's in striking distance, isn't she? Hmm. Okay, so... Let's do it again. Greatness awaits. Oh, you, you really don't want to do that, though, does he? You're not a very good ally, really, are you, dude? Like... Oof. Well... No, I want more than seven k. Spent twenty food on that, my good man. Mm. This is annoying. Well, it's ironic that you've got an allied mission against Kislev for me, but okay, okay, I. We burnt that priest to the ground. We're gonna have to see what they do because ultimately it depends if dwarves move up to challenge me and me. But there's no garrison in here. Technically, like she might be able to march up and just take it, but then she'd have to fight me. And while I might have struggled before, I'm not sure I'm gonna struggle that much now. Detecting attrition. Oh. 
Oh, minus two attrition. Okay. I am incredibly paranoid. Where is my hero? Where's my my doom racket? I say say move. I say say move move. Gonna be very interesting, of course, when the uh, when the next update comes out. Gonna change quite a lot. Yeah, not all good. I don't grid any of my cities though. Are we maxed out now? Mm. You are maxed out, are you? No, we've got those two to get, okay. And I think you're still willing to TFR, I guess you are. And you're, you're edging ever so slowly to TFR, it's, it's painful. It really is. We get two more pat masters. <gasps> Gotta get him down into the army though is the thing. But perceptive and tough. Perceptive for the magic items, like I really, really need enough items for all my characters. He says adding another character to the three. Like we'll probably take the chieftains out of this army. When we swap it into a monster mash. And I'm torn on the Warlock Engineer. That gives extra movement, doesn't it? So. But we, we're gonna need, like. Mm, a few. You, you mean you only need. You only need one point in that one. Okay, yeah, that's nice. It's gonna take as long as I thought then. Okay, anyway, enough waffling. Let us proceed to the next turn. They're gonna um and ah around Kislev now as, as Slanesh's border slowly surrounds them. I have a funny feeling Tretch is dead already. Destroy that arc, there's an undercity there. Okay, the next time we get a brood over. Alright, so. Hmm. It's almost like. Almost like they're daring me. Like, I don't really want Jackfort, but at the same time it's a capital, so I do. I kind of feel like I'm playing like Chaos right now. <laughs> They're messing around over there, and I can't quite make the woods. If I underway over... I almost certainly am right on his doorstep next to Let's just not get too close, in case there is armies over here. I don't know how I'm healing in enemy territory, but I'll take it as a win. Oh no, this is... Oh man, I was like literally on the border. Oh wow, I accidentally did that perfectly. Okay, cool. Alright, how are we doing? They're happy. They're happy. Oh, everyone's too happy. I find this incredibly... Rich. 
Even this, even the unreliable Skaven are happy right now. Like, granted, we might have had to beat the happiness into some of these people, but... Eh, it still seems to have worked. Okay, his capital was here, so... We should soon know if he's doing well or not. Yes, I know, we're not building on this, it is. And we don't have one. Yeah, obviously, we can't, uh, can't pop another under empire straight away. However, we could do a steel research. Maybe you want to push this way though, because well, I'm not sure we want to bother Noctilus, because Noctilus will be all edgy. Nice. Okay, I mean, we could level that up. Although, arms dealer will give us an extra teleth regardless. Yeah, let's get arms dealer leveled up. It might only seem like 1%, but, you know, 51% is a uh, 50% bonus. We don't need... Well, you can get 30 from 10, basically. Now then I... Are you going to take it from him and then I can sell it to him again? Because that'd be great. <laughs> Skaven money laundering. Yeah, so I think I meant to say that we were going to have goals for this. So my goal is going to be to be strength rank 1. And ideally have all the legendary lords. Don't know if the having all the legendary lords is going to be practical. But we're going to give it a try. And I think at that point... We can safely say... Why are you like... Hmm, no. It's only a grand. I can't really do anything with a grand. And you're not close enough to be a threat. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to revive all of the Skaven. But I'm going to give it a go. I think that would be a, a reasonable idea. If we can get that far, that we're strength rank 1, we're reviving all this given. Like, that's, uh, you, you can't probably get better than that, right? If he failed to ambush, and he ran away, and the garrison here sucks. And we got access to more plague priests. Another dwarven army showed up. But this is a woodland territory, so this should be pretty open, fight-wise. And we do need to take it this turn, because if he loses that this turn, we won't be able to sell it to him this turn. And there it was with the dwarves. There you know. You don't like, really like me now, then. He doesn't like me gifting stuff to them. I mean, we could try and make the vampires as friends as well. But the thing is, where are we going to expand if we make everyone as friends, right? Like, I think... Azazel is buffering down through the mountains itself. It's probably going to be for the best. But the vampires don't really have a good counter to us because, well... They're a lot melee focused and we can just shoot them to bits if we really want to. Let's say you're stealing all the technology from the elves. No, no, they're going to get angry if I do that constantly. So let's uh, let's move away a little bit. Yeah, we know what you're going to do. Okay, 
help it. Two turns. Three turns. And with that, I think we are max. No, next turn. One more thing. Our first maxed prop. That's in levels by doing nothing. I will take it. Okay, are you dead? Where for are you, Tretch? Well, that's a plague. Plagues are done by the Skaven. Trained by the White Tower. Or are they? Yeah, play monks. Run, da, 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 da. So. All should pity you, for you have incited the fury of the dragons. Oh, Clan Mars. Hmm. Military access. It's like I'm going to go asking specifically for military access. Okay, so it looks like he might be gone, gone. Which is. No, that's not good. Means a lot of faffing to bring him back. But then again, it's kind of to be expected, realistically speaking. Um, Where are we on the friendship scale? We are getting there. It like hates me. Yeah, it's because he's not at war with anyone. That's the situation. But he is, he is a military ally, so... Someone declares war on me, he has to join in. How are we doing on the points? Uh, 24. His arm is getting even better. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's it's relatively stabilized. I've just realized how long this episode is going to be. So let's attack. <laughs> Everything changed when the Griffin Wood was attacked. Okay, it's a lot of slayers. But it is an open field battle. Somehow, when it's a capital. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Well, this is this is definitely going to be different. Okay. It's a grudge catapult. Nice. Thank you very much for watching. If you are still watching, I wish you good fortune all you was come. And I shall see you on the next one. If you do have suggestions for what you would like to see for additional content, please do let me know because we're going to be doing that. I haven't quite decided yet if we're going to go to a two video a day format or just stick to a one video a day format. I think two videos might be pushing it, but I want to keep the focus on Total War, so I was thinking doing two Total War and then a filler and then one that isn't Total War, so that, you know, it's like a 75 to 25 split ratio kind of thing. So do let me know if you have thoughts, ideas, suggestions, or if there are other campaigns you would like to see on this game or other games. It doesn't have to really be a Total War game either. And with that said, if you want to support the channel, you can become a channel member or you can denote, denote, donate through Ko-Fi. Um, I don't really have the links in that setup, but I shall do that at some point, one of these days. You never know, right? Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.